Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of tutorial, learn about classifiers with this particular package natural. So this package gives us the option of working with some cool machine learning algorithms, such as the naive base classifier and then logistic regression. Although it is regression, but it's a class classification algorithm. Now let's see how to work with it. So first of all, you just need to store this particular import the particular package natural and store it in this variable called natural. And let's create another variable called var classifier. Then we're going to Create a new natural dot base, right? That is a particular algorithm we're using. So this is a classifier we're using. It's very interesting. So this but naive base classifier is very useful when you're trying to do test classification, news classification, sentiment analysis, and then several other aspects. It's working with probability, so it's very interesting. So now let's see how to work with this. So first of all, you need a training data, right? So training data is the first thing we need. And then we after that you, you have to train it, then you just apply it, right? You apply or you do your prediction or you predict so now let's see how to work with it so first of all our training data goes with this so let's go with classifier dot add classifier dot add document right so that is how to add your data to it so it, it takes two arguments it takes the text itself that is the features so it's going to be say i need to buy a new computer right something like this right so this is going to be a the feature right or the cut the test itself then then we supply the particular label or target so we're going to be let's call that hardware right so i need to buy something so that's that's how to add data to your classifier to be able to train it so let me paste in some more data sets it's going to be this right perfect so we are having hardware and then software these are the two main labels or categories that we work with so after adding it now just we have to train our data set. So how do you train this? You just go with this. The classifier dot train. So it's going to be easy to train this. So it's going to train this our classifier, our naive base classifier with this particular data that we have supplied. This document we have added. Perfect. That's going to be the first thing. Then the next thing we need to do is how to apply. So to apply it, it's just going to be something like this. Yes, use console dot log. Then classifier dot classify right then i'm going to apply my test whatever thing i want you to predict so let's give it something like give it something like the code is 40 right something like this. the code is 40 let's see whether it's going to predict and tell us whether it's a hardware problem or it's a software problem so let's save it and let's run it here it's going to be load then we'll have files nlp sample perfect so let's run it and see Perfect. <laughs> the code is 40, it's a software problem. So it's able to identify the particular problem it is, right? With this small amount of data, there's not plenty. It is very small. That is the advantage of a naive base classifier. That doesn't matter the amount of data set. It's able to be able to build features on it and able to predict in a better way, right? Which is quite interesting. Now, let's see. In case you have a data set, so this is something you have done, right? So in case you want to actually see this particular study at train right there's another way of doing it but first of all let's see how to work with this in case you have it in case you have a data set somewhere so this is not the this is a good method but let's say you have a data set in, in, a, in a csv file or maybe in a json file and you want to use it so let's see how to work with that so i'll just copy this thing that we have here or oh, let me comment it out and let's see how to work with a foreign data right not from this place, from something else so let's call it as a stay now data set so I have some external data, so just go with this const, you can just use var if you want, any of them is the same thing, const, and then we'll call it as data. Then just go with require, because the other data set is in a JSON format, in case it's a CVS, you can just import past CSV to work with it. But let's use the normal one here. The name of our data set is data set, right? It is, check it, this is the name of our data, right? Which is this one. So it's having all these particular data sets that we have. Right, so this is all our data set that we're working with. So I just want to import this particular data set to be able to use it to use it here. So just go with this data and then dot JSON. Right? So that is how to work with it. So perfect. So we have been able to access this particular data. Now to work with it, just go with the same format. So let's use it as a simple for loop before. Going to be our data 
dot for it can use map but i prefer this so for each right if using it for each function then for each item i'm going to use a normal arrow function i'm going to supply our stuff right so this and let's apply our stuff we're going to be our classifier dot add documents so the same thing that we did here right the same thing that we did here and we are going to pass in our particular data that is coming here so our data is item dot test because if you check here we had test and we have categories right so that is the same thing we do here the test and then item dot category okay so that is how to work with this particular option okay. then let's go straight away with it so now it's going to pass through it and then add our data set into it for us so when I save this and then let's run it again with this particular stuff class by the trainer. So it's I've, I've added more data set to it. But right? it is more data set than the previous one that we have. So that is how to add in case you have another external data set you want to add to it. That is in a format of a JSON format. So then let's run it and let's give it something different. Then let's give it something like the motherboard is broken something like this it's broken or let's say it's sport no matter about the sport i don't know how to spell sport right something like this sporty yeah. perfect so now um, let's run this save it and run it perfect so the motherboard is sport is giving us as a hardware problem so that's how to work with this particular package right this particular classifier so you just in case you have a data stand out you just use this particular format you look through it you add it in this particular format and then you train it so in case you want to you have trained your data set you want to save it you want to persist it to use it somewhere and also work with it so let's see how to persist our data set so let me bring this one down so let's see how to persist our data set it's going to be persistent data or saving the data right you want to save our data set so you can save it in a json format and then use it again which is very interesting and very simple so let's see how to do that so it's going to be something like this so classifier classifier that we have dot c right that is a function classifier dot c then it takes the name of the file it's going to be uh the name of the file that you want to call it so let's call it as my classifier dot json right so let's call it my nv classifier my nv classifier it's not the best name anyway let's click it nv classifier when i use that is the name of the file that i'm saving it into then the next thing is going to go is just going to go with the cover function the function then it's going to go with an error to put out any errors and then our classifier perfect so that is how to do it so that is all you need to do with this particular function then this that, that is it perfect so with this we can be able to save this particular stuff it's going to save it and write it on this particular file here so you can be able to use it in a nice format so let's save it and let's run our stuff Perfect. So it has finished working with it. So if I check ls, you see that it's going to list our NV class file here, right? Right? Perfect. That the one that we see. So what is on this particular file? It is very interesting. It's going to keep it in a perfect simple format. So let's check it and see. If I check my NV class file, it's also going to be a JSON format, right? Which is this stuff that we have here. And then just place them in numbers because from all machine learning learning algorithms, usually must convert. If it's words past or images, you must always convert everything to numbers. That is the only thing that it understands. So even even if it's images, but convert the image to matrix to then to numbers. If it is words, must convert it to word vectors then to numbers. So that is what it has done here. Saving it in a perfect format that it can understand, right? In a very nice format. So we test in a label and all of these things. Perfect. So that is how to save it. Now in case I want to use it, let's create another file. And then see how to use this particular stuff there. So I'm going to give it as my let's say new example.js. Right, this is going to be new. And then we need to be we want to use it to, to be able to work with it. The only thing that we need to work with is that we just need this particular stuff here. This and then yeah, right. Perfect. Now the next thing is that we to be able to have access to this particular package that we have, just go with uh, natural. That we have at the top dot base right base classifier dot load 
that is all we need to do then i'm going to pass in our file that we had which was the name of our file was nv classifier dot json and then we'll be able to just pass it through a no and then a normal function cover function of our arrow and then our new classifier that we are creating we are storing everything inside our class so far yeah perfect so that is it now let's output it so let's go to console dot log then i'm going to pass it my classifier right because we are storing whatever button that we had in the previous one right inside this particular stuff we are storing it again into this stuff here and then we are storing this particular variable and use this particular variable to do our classification class classifier then we can just pass this out so let's give it something different so i need to buy a new hard disk let's see whether it's going to work so let's save it and then let's run it here with node new example perfect you see that it's able to load it for memory from this file and it's able to still work on it and able to produce it perfectly for us so that is how to work with it so we thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question or contribution can just go inside the comment section straight ahead campaign and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed